everyone. Welcome to Ready to Read Fridays with Miss Marie. I hope that you're ready to have a great time. We're going to hear some excellent stories about the beach. Who likes the beach? Raise your hand and wiggle your toes. All right, let's get started. Let's sing our welcome song on the count of three. One, two, three. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right, so our first story for today is going to be a beach tale. It is written by Karen Lynn Williams, illustrated by Floyd Cooper, and the publisher is Boyd's Mill Press. Let's get started. Let's take a look at the title page. Ooh, I see a lot of beach umbrellas and sands. But I see a dark line here. Hmm, that might be something that we're going to see in the story. I also see, oh, I see some waves at the top of the pages. Do you see those waves? One of the best parts of going to the beach is definitely hearing those waves crashing on the sand. Swish, swoosh. Gregory drew a lion in the sand. Can you all sound like a lion? <gasps> Rawr! <gasps> Excellent lion noises. Hmm. Oh, there's Gregory. <gasps> a sea lion? Dad asked. A sandy lion, Gregory said. Sandy needs a tail, said Dad. Gregory picked up his sturdy drawing stick. Don't go in the water and don't leave Sandy, Dad said. I won't, said Gregory. Dad sat down on the dolphin towel underneath the blue umbrella. Swish, swoosh. Gregory drew a tail. He did not go in the water and he did not leave Sandy. Sandy's tail got longer until Gregory came to a purple jellyfish. He made a loop around the gooey blob. So did Sandy's tail. There he is. Have you seen a jellyfish on the sand at the beach? Mm -hmm. And if you haven't, keep looking. Swish. Whoosh. Gregory came to the mound of an old castle washed smooth by the waves. He went up and over and down. So did Sandy's tail. But Gregory did not go in the water and he did not leave Sandy. He's bringing Sandy's tail and making it longer. Wow. Sandy's tail did get longer until Gregory came to a, do you know what that is? It's a horseshoe crab. He made a big zigzag and then is another zigzag around the old crab's pointer. Sandy's tail went zigzag too. Swish, swoosh. Gregory came to a giant hole. Gregory went down and up and so did Sandy's tail. Sandy's tail got longer until Gregory saw a tiny ghost crab. See that little crab? He scurried sideways into his dark round hole. Gregory went round and round the hole. Sandy's tail went round and round too. But Gregory did not go in the water and he did not leave Sandy. Swoosh, swoosh. Gregory wrote his nickname. 
Greg. G R E G. Sandy's tail got longer. Suddenly, a wave snuck up onto the sand and it tickled Gregory's toes. Gregory jumped back and he traced the lacy wave line. Sandy's tail made a wave line too, but Gregory did not go in the water. He listened to his dad and he did not leave Sandy. Swoosh, swoosh. Sandy's tail got longer until Gregory came to a jetty and he heard a loud roar. What? Gregory looked up. It was a giant wave. It was one crashing onto the rocks and the spray splashed Gregory. He turned around to look for dad. Uh-oh, what now? I think he traveled a little too far from his dad, didn't he? He thought he was listening to his dad. Swish, swoosh. Gregory followed Sandy's tail and he followed the wavy line. Swish, swoosh. He traced his nickname backward. G-E-R-G. He went around and around the deep, dark ghost hole. Swish, swoosh. He went down into the giant hole and up again. Zig and then zag, zag and then zig. He went around the horseshoe crab's pointer. Uh-oh. Gregory looked down the beach. No Sandy. No dad on the dolphin towel under the blue umbrella. But Gregory saw the mound of the old castle washed smooth by the waves. Swish, swoosh. He went up and over and down and there was Sandy's tail in a loop around the gooey purple jellyfish. Swish, swoosh. Gregory followed the loop and then he came to Sandy. Uh-oh. Gregory looked up. <gasps> there was a blue umbrella. There was the dolphin towel. Dad waved. Sandy has a long tail, he said. I didn't go in the water, Gregory said, but Sandy got wet. Dad held Gregory's hand. Let's get wet too. And that is the story of Beach Town. I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope when you go to the beach, you can get a stick or bring a stick and you can create your own Sandy animal too. I have a little song for you. If you had received our um, registration, then you should receive this along with it. It's called At the Beach. Are you ready? At the beach, the sun shines down. I see smiles on kids all around. Smiling kids on the sand. So, smiling kids in the sea. But the happiest kid at the beach is me. Let's do that one more time. On the count of three. One, two, three. At the beach, the sun shines down. I see smiles on kids all around. I see smiling kids in the sand. I see smiling kids in the sea. But the happiest kid at the beach is me. Excellent job. All right, our next story is going to be from a character that we all know. His name is Corduroy. 
This is Corduroy and he goes to the beach. This is written by Don Freeman and pictures by Lisa McHugh. And the publisher is Viking Press. And this is a special book from the library because we get to discover what's behind some of our objects. Are you ready? Today, Corduroy and his friends are going to the beach. Corduroy puts on his bathing suit and sun hat. He packs his wagon with towels, a beach chair, beach toys, and his lunch. Don't forget your sunscreen, Corduroy. All right, I see the beach ball. Oh, those are the sunglasses. And towels. Oh, there's one of his friends in his sunglasses. There's even a beach, I mean a dog with a hat on, all for, ready for the beach. Oh, there's that sunblock. All right, let's see where they go, what they do. Oh, corduroy and his friends pick a spot on the beach that is not too close to the ocean, not too far from the sand dunes, and right by the lifeguard. They lay out their towels and set up their umbrellas. What a perfect beach day. They have a whole bunch of things in their wagon. Someone is surfing in the ocean. Someone's on a raft in the ocean. Oh, there's their sunscreen and their food. There are a lot of boats out today. Corduroy and his friends see sailboats, motorboats, and even a kayak. Hmm. See, I see a lighthouse. Oh, there's Corduroy having so much fun. And who's in the waves? <gasps> One, two, three fish are in the waves. Oh, they play some games on the beach. Good catch, it is a breezy day, just right for flying kites too. Look at how high Corduroy's kite goes. Let's see, where's Corduroy's kite? Let's follow the string. Oh, he has this one, this triangle one. Oh, there's a seagull behind it. Let's see his friends. There's a little hot air balloon. Who's behind that butterfly, do you see that? and a little bird kite. Oh, I see an airplane too. Lots of things in this picture. Playing at the beach makes Corduroy hungry. Good thing it's time for lunch. What did you bring to eat, Corduroy? Oh, let's see, what did he bring to eat? I see an apple and some fruit and some juice. That's a great thing to bring to the beach. And don't forget your sunblock. Oh no, watch out for corduroy. Um, watch out for seagulls, corduroy. They are hungry too with your ice cream that you bought. Uh-oh. After lunch, everyone goes to buy ice cream on the boardwalk. Better eat quickly before it melts, corduroy. Now, all of corduroy's friends bury his legs in the sand. Then they build a huge sand castle with a moat and lots of towers. It's hard work, but it looks terrific when they are all finished. Let's see, oh, those are his feet. See, they put the sand right on top. So much fun building sand castles. Corduroy collects seashells and looks for driftwood. That's wood that's found by the water. He watches the birds and searches for sand crabs. Then it is time to pick up and head for home. Goodbye, beach. Thanks for a wonderful day. Oh, don't forget the sunblock, right? We have to bring that home. And look at all those seashells. Oh my goodness, such a great story. And I'm wondering if Corduroy's story reminded you of when you go to the beach. My daughter and I, we always collect seashells when we go to the beach. How many shells do I have in my hands? 
Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five little seashells. Let's sing that song now. Five little seashells lying on the shore. Crash went the waves. And then there were one, two, three, four. Four little seashells down by the sea. Crash went the waves. Uh-oh, and now there are one, two, three. Three little seashells smooth as new. Crash went the waves. <gasps> then there were one, two. Two little seashells sparkling in the sun. Crash went the waves. Then there was one. One little seashell left by itself. I took it home and put it on my shelf. Excellent, thank you. I hope you replay this again and you can do that along with me. I have one last book I would like to share with you today and it's Spot Goes to the Beach. This book is written and illustrated by Eric Hill and the publisher is, let's see, I have to take a look again. The publisher is, uh-oh, I know, I'm sorry. Excuse me one second. Puffin Books, that is correct, that's right. It is published by Puffin Books. Well, Dad and I are taking you to the beach, Spot. Do you think Spot is happy? He's saying, yippee! Spot wants to buy something. Can I have a sailor hat? Oh, you really spoil him, Sam. Thanks, Dad. They have a lot of things that they're taking to the beach. Catch the ball, Spot. <gasps> hey, watch it. Uh-oh. I think they just got crashed into the ocean. Now Sam is taking a nap. What are you making, Spot? What do you think Spot is making? A sandcastle. Spot, where's your father? Here I am. <laughs> this is fun, Spot. Dad, I've caught a fish. Almost. No fish. Puppy overboard. Splash. I'm okay, Dad. Spot, that's not your towel. Uh-oh. Let go, please. What has Spot found now? A new friend. He made a new friend at the beach. And that's Spot's adventure when he goes to the beach. I have one more tiny little song that I would like to sing with you, and it's sung to the tune of Wheels on the Bus. The sun at the beach is shining all day, shining all day, shining all day. The sun at the beach is shining all day, and it's nice and bright. The waves on the beach come rolling in, rolling in, rolling in. The waves on the beach come rolling in all through the day. The seagulls up above come diving down, diving down, diving down. The seagulls up above come diving down all through the day. The crabs near the beach, or sorry, the crabs near the rocks go pinch, 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 pinch. pinch. The crabs near the rocks go pinch, 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 
all through the day. I would like to thank you for sharing in all of my stories and songs, and I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful day. We'll see you next week. Bye.